Hi, Brian and Bonnie. It's Kelly. Hey, this is the one at 1894 North. It's actually just across um, 1800 North from the other home, and it's probably literally within, you know, a half mile. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to get some glare on the camera, but this is just kind of a street shot for you. Okay, and this one um, has an open type RV. So that's the difference between this one and the other one. This one has a pretty large RV pad. And this one has a vinyl gate. Fully fenced yard. So there, that'll give you an idea. And all the yards are uh, well kept here as well. You know, trim landscaping, just like the last one. And you could use a little paint touch up here and there. Kind of like the last one, too, on their deck. They could use a little paint on that. And hey, this one could use some, definitely use some paint around the front door. I'm um, walking in now. Very nice decor, bay windows. Looks like single tone paint. My camera's telling me I'm low on memory, which is astounding to me because I have a two megabyte card in here. It's like, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to get in here what I can and hopefully not have to make a trip to, you know, Best Buy or something just for a another two megabit card. But um, this is linoleum in here, but it's a nice home and it looks nice. And carpet has, you know, just a couple spots here and there. Could use some. Maybe just a good carpet cleaning, but the layout is similar to the other one. It's a four-level split as well. I'm coming down into the family room. And it's a nice, big, good-sized family room. Okay, this one is 100% finished as well. I'm down at the lower level. It's a daylight basement as well. You've got, like, a den computer room. And then your laundry room. and utilities in here and then uh, this is a little closet so this technically could be a bedroom you just have to put shelves in a door and then this hooks over into its own bath if you were to make that you know a closet and just put shelves in there, but the bath, this bath adjoining is real nice. Tile floors, and they have a jetted tub too. Looks a lot like the other one. So, this gives you an idea. And then they have uh, some under uh, level cubby storage, as you can see. And they just have some carpeting put down here, but I'm kind of a cool train set. And this is the garage area. Good size two car garage. And it's actually fully finished as well. You know, it's been painted and it looks good. And this is the backyard. Nice little deck. Good size patio. I hope I didn't lock myself out. <laughs> that door just shut really quick. <laughs> I didn't think it was that spring loaded. Anyhow, and again, final final fencing and looks trim and looks okay. I am going upstairs now. And we have a full bath here. Just your basic tub, and then we have the master bedroom here. I have a funny story for you guys. That comment, last comment I made about that door shutting really, really fast on me and afraid it would lock me out. Well, guess what? It locked me out. I had to call 911 because no one else in my office was even close. My husband wasn't close. <laughs> they just got here and let me in. I was locked in the backyard, oh, for a good 20 minutes. By the time I, you know, thought, well, I'm going to have to call 911. <laughs> this has been an adventure, I'll tell you that. That's a first. 
in 17 years. I've <laughs> never locked myself in someone's backyard. I could not believe it was dying. Okay, this is the upstairs and um, looks like they might have an evaporative cooler. If they have central air, I'll have to look on the listing then. They just haven't capped the evaporative. Okay. And then this is a quick shot of, you know, from above. Here we go. So this will give you an idea. Okay, and that concludes the tour for this last home, or the second home.